Assalamu alaikum everyone this is your brother Sayyid Aftab welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to learn anti's law it is a design for fixed partial denture in prosthodontics anti proposed anti's law which states that the combined perisymmetrical area of the abutment teeth should be equal or greater than the perisymmetrical area of the missing teeth or the teeth to be replaced first of all we should know what is perisymmetrical area perisymmetrical area is the root surface area this is the root surface area these are the two abutment teeth the perisymmetrical area of the two abutment teeth should be always equal or greater than the perisymmetrical area of the missing teeth or the teeth to be replaced the maxillary first molar has the highest root surface area that is 433 mm square whereas the mandibular central incisor has the lowest or the smallest root surface area that is 154 mm square for example consider the root surface area of second premolar first molar and second molar are 220 mm square 433 mm square and 431 mm square respectively so 220 plus 431 equal to 651 therefore 651 is greater than 433 factors which modify the ante's law when we need to increase the abutment teeth when there is bone loss due to increase due to the periodontal disease when the consider this abutment teeth is affected by periodontal disease we should in this case we should increase the abutment teeth we should include this the abut, uh, adjacent teeth uh, as abutment teeth when the abutment teeth is mesially or distally tipped when the abutment teeth is mesially or distally tipped we should increase the abutment when the abutment teeth is endodontically treated when the abutment teeth is mm, endodontically endodontically treated means the uh, teeth will be not it, it 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 will be not strong enough when there is mobility when the abutment teeth is mobile we should increase the abutment teeth when the arch form is not proper when the arch is not proper when we need to decrease the abutment in cases where when the abutment is mesially shifted consider this molar as this abutment teeth as uh, mesially shifted we should decrease means we should decrease the abutment teeth means we should not consider either this or this we should consider only one abutment teeth thank you everyone this was all about abutment ante's law so if you like the video like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much